Hello, I will now tell you a story of FGTV out of time. At the Life Star sometime in the distant future. Tell you later, troopers. He's getting away. <laughs> That'll hold him for a while. <laughs> Losers. Don't move, scoundrel. Does my pinky toe count? I got a cramp. Commander, I found the rubble. He's what? Yes, sir, right away. You late for an appointment or something? He probably heard about my mad skills and ran. Smart move. Now, for the actual reason I'm here. To end your tyranny, King C. V A A I. Wait, is it pronounced C eight like the Roman numerals, or do you prefer C V I I I? What am I talking about? Who cares? What? He's just a hologram? Got you. You are hereby sentenced to life in the Infinite Castle. No. Well. We'd like to remind you all to kindly hold your, um, applause until the question is answered. Was that your dad? Lexi, I'll repeat the question. Who is the character from the Greek mythology who solved the labyrinth and defeated the deadly Minotaur? Is it, um... Theseus? That's two points for Hamilton High. Theseus is correct. You sure are calm for someone whose daughter is being hugged by a boy on stage in front of the whole town. You've come a long way in your personal growth, duds. Huh? Oh, yeah. Of course. Mumi, how much longer till it's over? My butt's asleep. Yeah, Chase is breathing on and me. And Sean's hogging the armrest. Boys, just sit still for a little while longer. Be more like your grandpa over there. <laughs> grandpa? He fell asleep hours ago. By the time this is over, we're going to be as old as grandpa. <laughs> is it over yet? What? Did you say something, grandpa? I lost my hearing aid. Don't wake him up. Then he's going to make us listen to his old stories again. Like about how he worked at his dad's used car lot. That's enough chatter. Lexi had to learn a lot for this academic bee. We owe it to her to pay attention and cheer her on. What's the big deal about an academic bee anyway? I won the ribbon at the science fair. Now that is an academic achievement. Here comes Mike to the table, approaching the equipment with his usual steady, calm, and focus. He lines up his wire, and ladies and gentlemen, it ticks. He did it. He did it. Mike made a working clock out of a potato. He is the smartest person who ever lived. Get over yourself. You in third place. Shh. It's their turn again. Hamilton High, if you get this one right, you'd be the new champions. Ready? The Magna Carta was signed... The Magna Carta was signed in the year 1215. Yes, Milo, it was. Yes. But that's not the question. <gasps> Burr prep. This is your chance for the steal. Get this right and you win. The question is, the Magna Carta was signed in the year 1215. What does Magna Carta mean? Does it mean Great Charter? Great Charter is correct! Bird defeats Hamilton! Yes! <laughs> Have you been playing games on your e-watch this whole time? My what? No! Oh, oh, you can play games on your what? Let me try! Not now, Cecil! Sit back! Everyone's watching! Let me try! I wanna play! I wanna play! I wanna play! You've been distracted from the family ever since you got that watch. Give it to me. No way! According to Exile, this watch is a prototype. A one of a kind. Who? Exile. He's this gamer who messaged me on Discord out of nowhere. He told me it's something cool to show me. So we agreed to meet up at this game store. At least, I think it was a game store. Is a Ouija board a game? I don't know. Anyways, he gave me this watch. He said it was the gaming system of the future and he wanted me to be the first to test it. So a shady rando I've never met before calls me out of the blue and wants me to meet up at a mysterious store in a dark alley to sell me the only gaming system of its kind that I've never heard of? <laughs> Shut up and take my money! But the watch came with a warning that if I've reached a cumulative score of 1 million points, the scoreboard will roll all the way back to zero and I'll unlock an achievement beyond my wildest imagination. So that's what I've been trying to do. And I'm so close to a million. Back in my day, wristwatches actually told the time. 
but only if you wound it up. Did I ever tell you about the cowboy Roy watch I bought with my money that I saved from working at my dad's used car lot? Only about a million times. It was the best used car lot in town. Or what about how I held my lucky penny the first time I asked Grandma out on a date? It's a great story. Uh, this car's gonna take you back to the retirement home. You're gonna wanna make this a short ride, my dude. Step on it. I'm sorry, Lexi. It's really stupid of me to answer so quickly. Don't worry about it, Milo. We all make mistakes. Duds, go say something to Milo. He's embarrassed about losing the academic B. Uh-huh. Did you even hear what I said? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh! Mumi, I did it! I really did it! A million points! A million points! I wonder what's gonna happen! An achievement beyond my wildest imagination! What could it be? Okay, I've had enough of you on that silly watch. Kids, get it off of him. What? No! No! I work hard for these million points! I have to find out what's... It's happening! Something is happening! Lucky? Where are you guys? Ah, but the rest you will have to see for yourself. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Out of time? I think I just found my weekend plans. Never miss the miss, yeah, I've been scraping up. Life been moving fast, so you should pray for us. Ooh, just got a text, so I hit. I don't need designer fits, but I like how designer fit. LV with the